Hey, how are we doing today? All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on lesson eight, part number nine. Um, I'm going to write this program just completely from the start, from scratch. Um, that way we've got a good template to use for part number 10 because these are very similar parts. They've just got a little bit of different uh, shape. Um, the size is pretty much identical, but the shape's a little bit different with a little bit, uh, a little bit different contour going on. So let's start out with this one. Let's take a look at our print real quick, and then we will go from there into the program. So here's our print, and basically what we've got is we've got this square milled around here with radiuses in all the corners. So we'll mill the square first, and then we'll plunge down right here, and then we'll do the circle. Once we have everything milled, we'll come in and we will simply plunge the four holes with our eighth inch end mill that we've got. Typically that wouldn't be the way I'd want to make those holes, but based on the tooling that we've got to use, that's what we're going to do. So we'll plunge through to put those four holes in just using that eighth inch end mill. And once we have this part completed, this will serve as a great template to move on and then program part number 10. So we'll do that pretty much right after we complete this one. So let's go ahead and get started and get all of our stuff set up for now. Okay, so getting started here, first thing we need to is let's get a working file going. So here's our program manager. We're gonna, I've got an NC file already going. If you don't, do a new NC file. And let's do a save as. I'm going to move to my directory where I'm saving all of my reference files. I'm going to call this Lesson 8, Part 9, jvinnard.fnc, if I accidentally deleted that, which I did. And there is my working file. So right now I've got essentially a blank file to be working with. Now, my tools are already in. Okay, they're here still. Um, if your tools are not here, you might want to pause the video right now and go through the process of loading in your tools. If your tools are good, let's go ahead and keep on working. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our stock material set up. So we're going to go to Part Setup, we're going to go to More, and Stock Geometry. Okay, We want to tell it this is a 3 inch by 3 inch by quarter inch thick block of material. And then the origin is in the center. If you check out your print, the origin's in the center. So we're going to move it negative 1.5, negative 1.5 for the reference positions. All right. Once we've got this all set up, we can go ahead and move forward to get basically the top and beginning of our program ready to go. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's go ahead and jump to our part programming. Alright, so let's start out. Typically, you know, we need our program number. So we'll say the letter O, capital O, 00809. Then we'll give it a comment. Lesson 8, part number 9. This is a circular interpolation exercise. Okay. And then from there, the next thing we'll do is we'll get our safety line in place. So we'll do our G17, G20. We're going to verify inch coordinates, XY plane, inch coordinates, cancel any cutter comp, cancel any tool lengths, and cancel can cycles. So we'll put in our safety line. And then we'll plug in our setup information. So once we've got the safety line, for the setup information, set XY origin, center of workpiece, set Z origin, top of part. Okay. All right, so we've got that now. And then the last thing we want, we've got our part set up. Now we need to tell it what tools we're going to use. That way we can load our tools when we're getting set up at the machine. So first tool we're going to use is tool 4, that's our half inch, three flute, flat end mill. And then here in a second we'll go get the information out of our tool library, and then the other tool we're going to use is tool 1, which is our eighth inch, two flute, flat end mill. 
and we'll go get the RPM and everything out of our tool library. So I'm going to jump back over there. Tool 1, 7750 and a feed rate of 6. Now, this feed rate is for milling. We're going to be plunging with this tool. So we're actually going to go about 25% of that. So we'll do 0.25 times 6 and we'll hit enter. So we're going to feed it like 1.5 plunge rate. So that's what I'm going to plug into my program since we're plunging with this tool. 7750 and we're going to feed it at 1. We're rounding down to that whole number. 1 inch per minute. With an eighth inch end mill plunging through material, that's probably about as safe as you can be. All right, let's look at tool 4. Tool 4, we're 77.50 and a feed rate of 93 inches per minute. And make sure we got our decimals on there. And then we can oops, move forward. Okay, so that's all of our setup information. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this video and then we will come back with the next video and we will talk about milling the square contour. So let's go ahead and do that.